My neighbor recently called me and asked if I'd help him pick up some used solar panels that he found on Facebook Marketplace. I was initially pretty skeptical because these panels were really large, low output, around 230 watts, and were 14 years old, sitting on a residential roof the entire time. I actually didn't think they were worth it, even for the price he was paying, which was free. Let's take a look at how we tested them and determined what condition they were in and if it's worth it to pick up some used solar panels for your project. Okay, so we are here with your used 235 watt solar panels. So that's actually two of them, right? Correct. This is actually panel one and panel two. And you've got six of these. Yes. And they've been sitting on someone's roof for how long? Roughly 14 years for what we could figure out uh, between what the homeowners told, uh, told us and then the manufacturer date on these. What's the manufacturer date? The, uh, the manufacturer date is actually 2011 on these. 2011, 20, 25, 14 years. That makes sense. Uh, maybe they went in in 2012, so maybe they're 13 years old. Yep. Okay, so I brought over one of my very new 200 watt panels. Uh, believe it or not, this is 200 watts. I've gotten 200 watts out of these. In absolute perfect peak sunshine, I might have seen 205 at one point. So we're using this as a control, and we're comparing what this produces as a new panel to what your 14-year-old panels can produce. Yep. Okay, so on our first test with this panel, we're getting 155 watts uh, with the current sun angle and sunshine, right? Correct. We plugged in uh, your panel, and on our first test, we got 190 watts out of it. 190 watts out of this panel. Now, this also has roughly 14 years of dirt grime, probably never been cleaned other than rain, and maybe when they pulled it off, they wiped some of the uh, filth off of it. That's it? That's, that's it. So you're gonna wash it? So we're gonna wash it down. One of the curiosities I've always had about a lot of these solar companies I see is they offer your upgrade packages where they're gonna come back and clean it every year or two. Does that actually make a difference? We're gonna find out today. While you're finishing wiping that off, I'm gonna check the app and see if we've got any any difference in, in wattage once you step away. So before, you were getting about 190 watts out of this panel. Correct. Uh, maybe 10 minutes ago, about the same sunshine, uh, just a little bit dirtier. And now I'm seeing 190. I'm seeing, I'm seeing about 190, 193. Okay. It's going up a little bit, 192. Oh, I'm seeing 196, 199. So potentially you got maybe 5%, 5%, 510 watts more out of washing it and cooling it off. Now I will say, look at, I mean, this was clean before I washed it one panel. I mean, look at it now. So we did get a lot of dirt and grime off of this. Yeah. Especially with these being as old as they are. Yeah. And remember, this is a 235 watt panel and you're getting 190 watts out of it right now. Mm -hmm. Whereas my 200 watt panel is only generating 155 watts. So we'll do the math later. We'll show that in the video, but I, I think this is pretty good for a 14 year old panel. And the homeowner we received, or we got these from, they were actually, they had a company that actually came in when they bought the house, uninstalled the panels and they were on the ground. Now the person who uninstalled them said these aren't usable anymore. That was flat out what they told the homeowner. So the roofers took them off the roof, said they're not usable anymore. Yep. Or told them that they weren't usable anymore because they didn't want to deal with them with their new roof. We're not, yeah, we're not exactly sure. And we talked, we talked with the homeowner about this saying, you know what, usually panels are quote unquote bad when they hit that, depending on when, when uh, they were manufactured either 90 or 80% of life. Mm -hmm. And we told them that and they said, well, yeah, the money we were quoted to get new panels up there or to just go th come through and actually recertify them, do whatever you need to do was outrageous. And so they said, you know, at this point, we're going to have to pay somebody to take them off. You and I went over there. We took them off their hands for free. They were yeah. absolutely. They were thrilled. Yes. That we took them for free. Yes. They're probably going to cost. Them. Okay. We have one panel down and five more used solar panels to test. To be consistent with all of our measurements, we made sure to take a reading both before and after we washed each of the used solar panels. 
Additionally, we took a measurement from the control panel uh, at each stage in the process as well. So we knew if there were any changes in the sun that might have been impacting that particular panel's output. Now, let's take a look at the results. When new, these solar panels were rated to output 235 watts. During our testing, the most we saw out of them was 190 watts when they were dirty and 199 watts when they were clean. The average output we saw across all six panels was 172 watts while they were dirty and 180 watts while they were clean. So you can see, we definitely got a nice improvement from cleaning the panels. It actually turned out to be consistently about four to 5% improvement for each of the six panels we tested. Now, let's take a look at just the clean used panels. You can see here that 77% represents 180 divided by 235. So the panels were giving about 77% of the output that you would expect from them when they were new. Now we had some control panels running the same day, and I also looked at the larger solar array I have in my backyard. And those panels were all doing about 82% of their maximum output. So the weather wasn't perfect for any panels to be seeing 100% of their rating for that day. So we need to make an adjustment. We're going to make an adjustment for weather on this 180 watts. We're going to go ahead and divide that by 82%, and that gives us 220 watts. So my best estimate of what these used panels can output is about 220 watts. Let me show that in a little bit different way. So we have some used panels that we think have the capability of outputting 220 watts. If we divide that by their original capacity, 235 watts, we can see they're producing about 94% of output after 13 years. That means they've degraded just about 6% over the last 13 years. That actually represents about a 0.5% annual loss. So they've only lost about a half a percent of capacity each year over the last 13 years. That seemed pretty good to me. Let's see how that compares to some national statistics on solar panel degradation. According to the NREL, or the National Renewable Energy Lab, this is what they show for typical solar panel performance loss each and every year. And let me clear this chart off for you. Right here in the middle, it shows what the typical panel loses, which is about 0.75% of output annually. On the left-hand side, you'll see a dotted line that says P90. That means that 90% of panels can be expected to lose at that line or better. So 90% of panels will lose less than 2% of output annually with the average panel only losing about 0.75% output annually. Our panels showed about a 0.5% annual loss, slightly better than the average, but still well within the distribution you see on the screen here. That seems pretty good, but why possibly did our panels perform slightly better over the last 13 years than maybe the average panel? Well, all the panels in their data set come from all the samples you see on the screen here. And a lot of them come from hotter climates. That's important because the NREL says systems in hotter temperature zones exhibited about twice as much performance loss as those in cooler climates. So let's break that down a little bit further. Here's a map of US annual average temperatures. And based on what the NREL says, cooler climates have slower degradation of solar panels, and hotter climates degrade solar panels faster. Well, our solar panels came from the area here in the circle on the map. So it's a, it's a moderate climate zone, but they're definitely not coming 
from the really hot areas you see at the bottom of the US map. So that can help explain why our panels have degraded a little bit less than average over the last 13 years compared to a typical solar panel. Finally, I'd like to evaluate how efficient these panels are given their size. If we look at them when they were new, these panels could output 235 watts, and they're about 18 square feet. That means when new, they were generating about 13 watts per square foot. If you had a 10 by 12 area to put solar panels, that would be about six panels in this situation, it could generate about 1,410 watts. Now that the panels are older, and they're only generating about 220 watts, that means they're creating about 12.2 watts per square foot. That same 10 by 12 area could only generate 1,320 watts now. If we compare that to a newer panel, same size, about 18 square feet, a modern panel from 2021 could output about 310 watts in the same area. That means it could generate 17.2 watts per square foot. So in our 10 by 12 example, six panels could output 1,860 watts. If you were to find these newer panels used, maybe four years used, they'd probably be outputting about 306 watts. Again, still 18 square feet, so that would be about 17 watts per square foot. In this scenario, you'd still be well over 1,800 watts of potential power generation. So if we compare the used panels from 2011 to a used panel from 2021, we could see that in the same space, you could get 500 watts more output from a newer panel. So here's some final thoughts after evaluating these used solar panels. First of all, used solar panels can have a lot of life left. I was surprised at how well they were performing even after 13 years. Make sure you clean and test any panel before installation, especially used panels, because you don't want to put one up that isn't working. Older panels, say over 10 years old, are probably best for low cost ground mounts and projects where you have plenty of free space. On the flip side, if your project is limited in space, I would look for some more recent used panels, something say one to five years old. This way, you can get more output in your small area. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope this look at used solar panels was helpful. If you think so, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe so you can see future videos from the Backyard Solar Project. As always, Thanks for watching.